Hi Virgo, welcome to the Soul Song. This is Nina and this is your sneak peek or preview into the year 2021. We will be taking a look at what energies you will be surrounded with, what you can expect, what is the guidance for you and what are the key themes for the year for you. Okay, uh, This is a general reading, just a reminder to take everything with a pinch of salt because um, A, you won't necessarily know if this is going to resonate with you or not and b um it may not resonate with everybody okay so i have pulled out some oracle cards to begin with to to see the theme okay and the key advice for you in the year 2021 so let's start with these we've got loyal heart number 35 nice and deep knowing number 43 this card has been coming up quite a bit and i feel like it's a, a bit of a like a carry forward of the wisdom that you have acquired in the year 2020 a lot of us have had very difficult and challenging experiences in this uh, year and uh, that's the wisdom that we're carrying forward and that i feel is um is going to benefit you in the year 2021 in the sense that you're going to have you by the way have three owls here you've got two owls here and an owl here so there's of course an emphasis and a need for you to um trust your instincts trust your intuition your deeper sense of knowing okay uh listening to your inner voice is really really important and trusting your wisdom is uh, what I feel like saying here, okay? And you're going to find that you will have um, newer connections uh, coming in for you in the year 2021. People who are solid, who are trustworthy, who have your back, people who are like-minded and who reflect back to you what you give to them, okay? That's sort of a reciprocal energy is what I'm getting. But these are... Uh, people who basically come from your tribe this doesn't have to be a romantic connection but it could be and uh, for most of you this involves like uh, partnerships friendships alliances that are really beneficial for you and that are supportive to you in the year 2021 okay so that's beautiful you've got ancient healing wisdom <laughs> More wisdom for you, Virgo. <laughs> and you've got power, okay. Again, I feel like saying trust your wisdom, okay. Um, trust your wisdom, trust your power as well. Do not be afraid of your own power is what uh, I'm being told to say here. Uh, a lot of you are... Uh, have been through a lot of challenges in the year 2020 which have helped you in a way heal certain aspects of you and grow wiser grow um, just evolve a lot more as a person and that is the wisdom that you are carrying forward in the year 2021 and it's bringing forth uh, this very very strong core is what i'm uh, seeing okay uh, like I'm, I'm seeing kind of like the Leo card of the strength in uh, tarot. So don't be afraid of your own power. Don't be afraid of your own wisdom. Trust it to take you forward, take you through any sort of turbulent waters that you may come across in the year 2021. Okay, but I'm also being told to say, you know, use your power wisely. Uh, focus on only those things that really matter to you that help you evolve and grow as a person and that are in your best interest okay uh, do not waste your power is kind of like what I'm hearing okay you've got strategy number 21 and you've got patience number 16 okay 
so there's an element here of um, trusting in divine timing okay now this is a compass and this is a clock I believe but they're both looking very similar to me and uh, what I am hearing here is to really trust the uh, the cycles of life and plan for the future whilst being open to options that you may not have considered previously okay i get the feeling that you are going to get uh, what you're aiming for what you are looking for in life but it may not come around in the exact form or shape that you were hoping or ex or kind of expecting it to come in okay I hope that makes sense. So you've got the number 7 here and the number 3 here. Which is about uh, new beginnings. For some of you, um, I don't know who this is for. But if you have been stalling on maybe writing, you know, uh, a memoir or a book or a novel, whatever it may be. Pick that pen up and start and be patient with yourself. It is obviously going to take time if you are you know keen on doing something like that but please explore that okay that is what's coming through and yes your patience is going to pay off but be very very focused and uh, use your ample wisdom okay to plan and to strategize uh, for the year ahead and I feel like you're going to be very on point okay as far as that is concerned You've got conclusions are within reach, full moon eclipse, okay, and uh, adjustments are required, third quarter moon. So this is kind of like what I was talking about with the patience card. Um, there will be a need in 2021 to be more open-minded and trust your inner wisdom more because there will be some changes happening in the sense that like I said you will get what you want or you know the manifestations that you're working on are going to come about but they may not come like I said in the root or the form that you expect them to okay so keep an open mind because there are definitely more that more options or more ways that uh, you can achieve what you want or get what you want okay so don't be afraid of knocking on a new door or seeing a new alternative uh, that can bring about the same effect or the same uh, goal okay that you are aiming for and yes, um, with the full moon eclipse here, this does entail big changes and conclusions to certain projects, certain things that you were working on probably um, since even before 2020. But with the eclipse here, these are going to be big changes, okay? Um, new cycles beginning in your life, new stages I'm hearing of accomplishment okay so let's see your relationship and love oriented cards you've got like attracts like if you long for more love be more loving okay and ask for help okay what do you really need be willing and accept support okay so this is pretty straightforward when it comes to your relationships, be it intimate or um, friendships, family. Like attracts like is simply you being the version of the person that uh, you want in your life. Okay, as far as your romantic connections is concerned. If you're single, if you're looking for somebody... Uh, embody the energy that you want to attract and that's going to come back to you or that's going to um, get pulled towards you okay and you might face certain situations where you will be required to reach out to people 
ask for their opinions their help or um get like a you know like a sounding board get second opinions on something um or advice from someone so be open minded as far as that is concerned okay so i'm just going to at the bottom of the deck we have the 8 of pentacles nice very career oriented card uh which does involve a lot of hard work and discipline but it's a good card to have um let me turn these over and shift the camera and be back okay so this looks uh pretty interesting um straight away i want to say almost every reading that i've done so far has got the world card okay um either in the middle of uh, the reading or towards the end of it so that's interesting looks like a lot of people are making big changes and um evolving growing a lot in the year 2021 and a lot of old cycles are being completed you did get the conclusions of within reach card as well so there are situations that are coming to a head that are um going to require you to start sort of step into a new cycle okay bang in the middle of your reading you have the 7 of pentacles but let's start here you've got the 10 of wands the 4 of swords and the tower uh this is a bit of a shake up i'm going to have to say that you will heal from okay that you will recover from if uh this resonates with you you will have already started to see the signs or you may have already experienced something because this is the starting of the year you may have already experienced something uh towards the end of 2020 which was um quite burdensome quite difficult quite challenging to deal with there may have been certain you know upheavals in your life that you've had to sort of um heal from and take the time out to recover from okay uh, the tower is uh, not an easy card but i consider it to be a blessing in this guys because um usually the tower comes about when we are in this 10 of wands kind of an energy when we are carrying on a uh, certain burdens or a situation has um you could say come to an end or it's asking us to sort of review take stock and maybe release but we are probably still holding on to it we are still carrying the burden but uh when divine intervention happens in the form of the tower which is a very mars sort of energy um we really have no choice but to let go of that and to rebuild restructure okay the foundation so that we can build uh something that is solid something that is going to last or something that is more in alignment with who we are so in that sense it's a, it's a good energy to have and this is in the beginning of the year so there may be some big changes happening right in the beginning of the year okay not gonna lie i don't sugar coat things um but what i like seeing here is that with this tower just next to it is the wall card there is going to be a new uh, emergence i want to say emergence of a new cycle a new phase in your life that is uh going to give you a lot more happiness a lot more joy okay you've got the ace of cups the seven of pentacles and the world card here this is going to require hard work it is going to require you to start uh planting new seeds and really be patient okay you did get the patience card as well be patient with yourself be patient with where you're going and with this new paths okay that you are probably heading on or walking on um with the ace of cups here this is definitely something that would bring you a lot of joy a lot of happiness a lot of contentment and satisfaction 
and there's a there's a sense of discovery here of uh discovering something new you know she's holding the key here as you can see and she's in the middle of a forest discovering this ace of cups uh which is like a pot of gold so it's it's like uh, this new start or this new phase beginning with the world um is going to bring you a lot more uh it's going to open the door in a way to something that is that can take you to the 10 of cups okay which is ultimate fulfillment ultimate joy and the world card is here to say that your hard work is going to pay off and you will see the success that um you're hoping for okay so that's a really good omen to have here uh then we have the princess of swords the 9 of cups and the 4 of pentacles i want to clarify the 4 of pentacles okay so let's get one card for that why is the 4 of pentacles here all right okay so we have the 10 of swords and at the bottom of the deck we have the queen of cups this i feel has something to do with a relationship okay um you're holding on to towards the end of the year you're holding on to some memory or some issues or some hurt okay some wounds from the past that you should not be holding on to in a way that's uh um i want to say it's it's stopping you it's blocking you from uh newer experiences the princess of swords is like uh, the page of swords uh who's very curious who has this beginner's mind who's um open to learning okay and because it's the swords element it's it's about learning new things about intelligence about information communication you are likely to get either some sort of an inspiration to try something new or to learn something new that brings you a lot of joy a lot of success and happiness um or you do receive some kind of news okay which does actually um which is a wish fulfillment for you okay something that you've been waiting for but there is something that you are that you're letting um to get in the way okay uh, that's the best way i can put it this person in the four of pentacles is um you can see how much yeah it's a uh, foundational because it's a four but the thing is that uh, i don't think he's really experienced the world out there which is um calling out to him through that window so there's a need to open up to new experiences with uh, these cards here okay but you might find it difficult to do that because or to make up your mind because it requires you uh to let go of the past and to let go of your apprehensions especially i'm getting a sense of fear of the unknown fear of trying something new fear of even getting what you wanted okay so it's kind of like your patience pays off but towards the end of the year you start to doubt things or you start to you know have like um fear that this is also going to bring um difficult or challenging experiences like you had in the past so don't let that hold you back especially when it comes to relationships emotions uh you might even meet somebody new who um you know who you find uh, really charming and attractive but you're holding yourself back okay so <laughs> that is uh one of the biggest advices for you i would say to not hold back um as an overall energy i would say this year is going to entail hard work definitely 
it is going to usher in new beginnings some of which you feel unprepared for um some of which you feel uncomfortable with as well but at the end of the day it is going to bring you um success growth evolution and expansion okay so it's best that you adopt a more childlike attitude uh with the page of swords there and be patient with yourself don't be hard on yourself okay let me get one card as your final advice and i'll pull out the blessings for you for the year the advice for virgo please okay <laughs> so i'm laughing because uh, i saw the strength card in the beginning in my mind's eye and this is your and you've got temperance at the bottom of the deck interesting so this is your advice virgo to tap into your inner strength okay you've got a very strong core i must say because of the cards that we saw initially uh trusting your inner wisdom trusting your inner guidance is really important for you and to trust yourself more than anything that you can overcome any challenges that you may face okay and uh, that things are not going to be all that bad okay it's okay for you to take a risk it's okay for you to put yourself out there and to uh, sort of invest in something new okay that is what i want to say Let's pull out the blessings for you from this chart. Okay, we've got these three. Let's, oh, sorry. So we've got new birth. Okay. Now this is the new birth of an idea. It could be a literal birth for some of you, though I'm not seeing that here. There's no Empress card or anything. but this is the birth of something new in your case especially it's a new way of being it's a new phase in life okay and uh, take this first initial like one or two months to recover from probably the after effects of uh, 2020 okay because after that you've got a lot of work to put in and uh, you will receive the benefits of that as well okay we got connections which we did see in the beginning with the loyal heart card and you've got healing wow so this is kind of repetitive um because we did see these cards in the beginning you've got loyal heart and you've got uh, the shaman card of ancient healing wisdom so trust your power your inner power your inner wisdom um because there are going to be big changes in your life in the year 2021 okay so that is what i'll leave you with i hope this was useful i'm wishing you all the very best for the year ahead uh oh i just want to say that for some of you you could be attracting somebody new in your life um somewhere around spring time okay and this could be someone from afar and you're wondering whether to actually invest in this person or not i feel like it is worth it do go ahead with it um this person is likely to be very different from your usual type is what i want to say and uh, there's like a lot of uncovering or discovering happening with this person okay so it's safe for you to invest your time and energy into it all right so i'll leave you with that uh do give the video a thumbs up if you enjoy the reading i hope you have a wonderful fabulous 2021 do take care of yourself and i'll see you again god bless bye bye